Hey guys, Johnny Farrow here. And, um, you know, I've noticed every once and again there'll be just things I'll notice on, like, social media or people I'll talk to where they're, you know, they're kind of unsure, like, how do I get inspiration? Or, you know, if I get stuck, how do I unstick myself and get inspired to write something or to create something? So I thought, you know, I'll make a video about it. Just some tips on how to do that, because I definitely fall into that myself. And there are definitely things you can do to uh, snap out of it or snap into it, however you prefer to look at it. So here we go. This is five tips to uh, get inspired, unstick if you're, you know, having trouble getting inspired or if you're just looking for something a little different. So here we go. So the first thing is take a walk. This might seem a little obvious, but, you know, step outside, walk through your neighborhood, walk around the block, look at people, look at things, notice them. I literally wrote a whole song once. It's actually a song I'm working on for my next album. Um, where I literally just took a walk and just wrote about what I saw and it actually came out to be a pretty cool tune. So that's the first thing is just go out, take a look at some things, get out into, into the open space. Now, we all know that there are a ton of songs written about love and that is for very good reason. Number two tip for getting inspired is to fall in love. You know, I mean, what's a greater feeling than that, right? And I can tell you, some of the best music I've ever written in my life was written at the time when my wife and I first started dating and we were falling in love. And, uh, you know, I've written good music before and since, but I don't know if I've ever written music quite that that good and that poignant. And it, it's a really simple thing, but it's something that totally works is get happy by doing that. Um, of course, the downside of that is breaking up and breakup songs are a thing, too. But it's way more fun and easy to fall in love. So I would say stick with that if you can. You know, if not, everyone loves a good breakup song, too. But love is a great source of inspiration. Now, this kind of goes along with um, taking a walk, but goes a little further. But uh, people watching, go to the mall, go to a busy place, go to a park, and just watch people. Watch their interactions, watch their expressions. Get a little bit of what's going on in their life, and that can become a storyline for a song that you're writing. Hell, you can make a whole album out of watching people at a certain park, and you can even name the album the name of the park, and there you go. Um, but just take interest in the things that are that are uh, around you, and particularly in the people around you. There is so much inspiration, so many ideas to get just from noticing people. All right, so this might seem a little less obvious, and I know you know, for a lot of musicians especially, and, you know, for people in general, one of the things that can happen, things can get a little stale on the subject of work. If you have to work a nine to five, or if you're a musician who has to supplement your income with other work, you know, that can become a bit of a drag if you let it. But the thing is, you can also use it to your advantage. You know, if you're looking to get inspired, you're looking to shake things up, change jobs, change activities, maybe see if you can get a promotion at your current job if you like the company, but are feeling a little stale. You know, get a change happening there in your profession, in your career, in your hobby, in your whatever, and join a different club. It just gives you a different perspective and different viewpoint on things, and that's always a great source of inspiration for writing. And then number five, my fifth tip for getting inspired, is learn something new. You know, and that can literally be anything. Pick up an instrument and learn to play it. You know, if you're already a musician, Play a different instrument. Learn a different style. If you're, you know, a lawyer, you know, I don't know, learn how to water ski. Uh, whatever is fun to you, you know, but do something that grabs your interest. Go skydiving, you know, but get into some kind of a different activity and, and just learn something. And learning is always a really cool thing that's going to increase your capabilities and your abilities in life. It's going to be fun. And hell, you might get a song or 10 out of it. So, you know, there you go. And one more bonus tip for getting inspired, and this is a bit of what I would call next level thinking. Help somebody. Find somebody who needs help and help them. You know, find someone having trouble in life and help them work through it. Educate them. Uh, if someone's doing pretty well but could use some help maybe being better, help them do that, you know. Teach people how to live better lives. Help somebody promote something. Help your wife or your husband promote something that they're, that's really important to them. Help your kid with their homework. Help your neighbor's kid with their homework. Whatever. But there's an amazing reward that goes along with that. And obviously it can be inspiring, but then you've also done something for someone. You've done something to better the world around you. It's such a reward. And on top of that, who knows, you might get a song out of it. So there you go. 
Those are my tips for getting inspired. I hope you've enjoyed them. I'm Johnny Farrow, and I'll see you on the next video. Mwah.